Hello and welcome to this session. In this video, we will understand what is the difference between the traditional process of development and the BDD process and this is going to be very interesting and I will go step by step. Let us first understand and see a traditional process of development and it starts when a product owner or a business analyst meets the business owner or the stakeholders of the application and the stakeholders tell the business analyst or the product owner about their needs, the features they need in the application or the changes they need and then the product owner writes these requirements in a requirement document and then this requirement document is shared with the dev team who starts with their coding and the same document is shared with the testing team who starts creating the test cases as per the requirement and then once the coding is done and the test cases are created, we have the test execution phase where tests are executed. If there are any bugs or defects reported, they are fixed. Retesting and regression is done. And finally, the changes or the features are released. So this is how a very typical traditional process of development looks like. Now here, there are few issues. The first one is during the requirement gathering and creating of user stories, the dev and QA teams are not consulted. So dev and QAs are not involved in the requirements discussions and creating of user stories and examples discussion. And then when the dev team creates their code and the testing team creates test cases, they work in silos. So there is no shared understanding between dev and QA. And this is one of the main issues and problems with the traditional process that BDD works on. So now let us see how does a BDD process looks like. It starts with the same stage where a business owner or the stakeholders tell the business analyst or the product owners about their requirements, needs, features and the changes they need in the application. And then after this, the product owner does a meeting with the representatives of the dev team and the QA team and this is called the three amigos meeting and here they discuss about the requirements, they discuss about the user stories and then discuss about the examples that will define the system behavior and once they agree upon the examples these examples are documented using some specification language like Gherkin and it converts these examples into a documentation that can be used by all the teams, the technical teams and the business teams and the same documents can be used for developing the codes and creating automation test cases. So after this stage, we have these documented examples ready and these documented examples are used for creating automation test cases which further guides the development and then finally we have the test execution phase if there are any bugs or defects reported they are fixed retesting is done regression is done and finally release is done and this is how our typical BDD process looks like now here the main advantage you will see is right after the product owner or the business analyst gets the requirements from the stakeholders there is a complete collaboration and communication with all the team members so there is sharing collaboration and they have a common understanding they even have a documented examples or a single source of truth which will be used by all the teams so the business team the technical teams everyone will be using the same documented examples or the same documents and that is why they all have a single source of truth so therefore there is a lot of collaboration and a very good sharing and common understanding now let us see the same process and the difference between the traditional way and the bdd way in a sprint a sprint is a short period or duration it can be a two weeks sprint or a three week sprint where the team works on some specific user story so they decide their work what can be taken in this particular duration or in a single sprint and then they work on those user stories so let us see a traditional process in a sprint and a BDD process. So there are some activities which are done before the sprint and some activities done during the sprint. So in a traditional process, it will start with when a business analyst or product owner will get the requirements and then based on the requirements, he will write user stories and the acceptance criteria. And then he will commit the user stories to the sprint and then the sprint will start and the development team will start creating the code 
the testing team will start creating the test cases and then they will be the automation phase and test execution phase where the tests will be executed and automated and finally if there are bugs they will be fixed and retesting will be done so this is how a typical traditional process looks like in a sprint when we talk about bdd here again we have some activities which are done before sprint and some during the sprint it starts with the same stage where a BA or a PO takes the requirements and he writes user stories and some examples. After this, we have the three amigos meeting where these examples and user stories are discussed, explored and examples are created and discussed and agreed upon. And then the agreed and the selected examples are documented using some specification language like Gherkin so that these documented examples will now work as a single source of truth for all the teams and at this stage it can also be decided how many user stories can be taken in the sprint based on the duration of the sprint and the amount of work we have all the team members and all the representatives of the team can collectively take a decisions on how much amount of work or how many user stories can be taken in the sprint then we have the start of the sprint where the automation test creation and development activities go hand in hand at the same time and finally we have the test execution phase if there are any defects or bugs they are fixed and retesting is done and this is how a typical bdd process looks like in a sprint and you can see the difference here the same difference that we have seen earlier there is lot of collaboration and sharing in the bdd process and this is the difference how a traditional process differs with the BDD process. I hope this is useful for you. Now you can take the quiz on my website automationstepbystep.com and do share your knowledge with everyone and I hope all this was very useful. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.